loves it is Ashley here at fire intuition just want to say something quick before we hop into the reading thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for the continued love and the support with the online shop the oracle decks following me being a subscriber leaving comments um booking personal readings following me on my ig and on my facebook as fire intuition just like everything so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart you guys are definitely a blessing and i love and appreciate you all so 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 much all right i love you guys xoxo let's hop into this reading guys all right i'll see you guys in one second mm. Hey Sagittarius, it is Ashi here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of April. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also a Venus. This is general, so please do only take a resonate with you, my loves. I know I said it in the intro, but I just want to say, Sagittarius, thank you for all your continued love and support. You guys are amazing. You guys always show me some love, um, personals, extended, all that good stuff. So I just want to say thank you so much, Sagittarius. So let's hop into your reading. Let it be great, of course. Let's see what's coming in for you guys in love. For the first half of April, I will be extending your love reading. We'll take a deeper look into their feelings and like blockages and stuff like that. So let's definitely see what's coming in for you guys, um, Sagittarius. Let's see, Spirit of the Universe. Love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, do look out um, in the community tab in the next couple days. I will be releasing the Goddess Box. It's going to be amazing. I'm also going to be launching the new webinar very soon. All right. So, let's see what's going on with you all. In love, Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see the energy that the new month is bringing in. So, let's see what energy April is bringing in when it comes to your love life. Let's see, Sagittarius. What energy is April bringing in for you guys? So, we have a Queen of Cups in reverse. I don't know, Sagittarius. What are you guys hurting about, upset about? Um, this can be you being just unbalanced within your emotions. This can be you... You know, not trusting your intuition or your intuition is definitely blocked, okay? Um, there could be a water sign that's the one this or this could just be your energy. Let's definitely see what's going on. Um, the person you're feeling, um, dealing with, let's see how they um, feel about you. We have to pay the pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, you may be upset due to them not following through, due to them being unstable, their lifestyle, not committing to you. Um, this could be someone younger than you. We do have a queen to a page, okay? Um, let's see what's on their mind. We have the higher fonts. So, this person... Even though the higher font is here, this can be a lesson that you guys are in. Or the higher font could be telling me that this is someone that's stuck in their ways. They're not willing to change, okay? The only way they're going to commit to you is if they're allowed to do what they want to do in this relationship. And you may not be having that. So they just may be conditioned or stuck in their ways or just want things to be their way. All right? Um, let's see um, where this relationship is currently blocked at. We have it with the Hermit in reverse. So, yeah. Someone needs to do some soul searching. Someone needs to open up. Someone needs to realize. All right, but it's leaving you sad and depressed. And it's wanting you, you know, to go towards the love or you just want something new with this person, but you guys are just not agreeing when it comes to the relationship and some type of commitment. All right, um, let's look at the advice. We have the star. So this can be an Aquarius that is coming in for you guys. You guys can be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star is all about healing. It's a renewal within the self. It's healing energy. And you see how she's pouring out the two cups. So you guys are definitely not putting cups in reverse energy and you're pouring that energy out so that you can refill, refill your cups with a lot of love, happiness, healing energy, and stuff like that. So let's see what the potential outcome is. The Nine of Swords. You guys are really stressing out. All right. Stressing out late nights, early mornings, not really getting sleep. Got a lot on your mind is what I'm also getting. Okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Swords. So maybe you know that you need to cut this person off, cut this person out. Put that sword up. Let this person know how it is, how you feel. All right, Queen of Swords with Temperance. Yeah, so that you can find peace, clarity, a peace of mind. So you may need to cut this person out, Sagittarius, so that you could gain clarity and get a peace of mind. That Temperance card is your energy. 
Okay? So, let's definitely hop in. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify, Sagittarius. Let's see. Spirit of Universe. Love messages for Sagittarius. Sun moon rising. Also, Venus. First half of April. All right, let's see. We have a Queen of Cups coming up in reverse. So let's see how the Queen of Cups is coming up in reverse. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're stressing out. You're losing sleep, stressing out. Eight of Swords. You're definitely in your head. Thinking the worst. Okay? So remember, Sagittarius, what you think is manifesting. All right? Um, Ten of Cups in reverse. This relationship is just unstable. It's upside down. It's shaky. You guys are not getting along. Queen of Wands is in reverse. You've had enough. Okay, to see the Queen of Wands reverse, some of you guys are putting on the front. On the outside, it looks good. On the outside, people think things are good, but it's not a lot of arguing. See defensive energy. This is you feeling like you have to defend yourself, fight, stay your ground. You're needing to protect your energy, Sagittarius. You guys are very upset about something. You guys are very upset and you guys keep going off about the situation. Um, let's see, Queen of Wands reverse. You have the Fool in reverse, but you keep giving this person a chance. You keep taking risk. So at some point, Sagittarius, you got to ask yourself, like should, like, should I keep going off? Is it worth going off? Is it worth having this person in my life? Is it worth reconnecting? Is it worth them coming back in my life if I know they're going to be unstable and reckless and not commit and offer me anything? Okay? So that's what you got to ask yourself, Sagittarius. So let's see how the bigger principles is in reverse for how this person feels about you. They're not following through. Okay? This is an unstable situation. This is a lack of commitment. All right? Let's see. Page of principles in reverse. Eight of wands. All right? But I feel like whoever this person is... They make you happy despite their reckless behavior, their foolishness. Or there's a lot of passion and chemistry. You guys need to see past that with Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is telling me that this person is going to either open up, communicate to you very soon. Or you have to be in communication with this person for a reason. It could be due to a child. Um, let's see. Justice in reverse. This person keeps lying. So they're telling you things that you want to hear. They may be telling you things that has you, you know, not losing faith and wanting to give up on them. With the star card here. But I feel like this person is just great. Sorry, Sagittarius. My um, camera went dead. So let's see. Like I said, the Justice card reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, they may be telling you what you want to hear. But whatever this is, they're not following through. They're still in imbalance. They're still lying. Okay? So Justice in reverse, Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, you guys are dealing with someone young, childish, immature, petty. You feel rejected by this person. You feel lonely. They get your hopes up. And then there's nothing else happening. It could be a Gemini or a Libra that's doing this to you. All right? So let's see why the higher font card is here. Because this is what's on their mind. You have the six of swords. You guys can be going your separate ways. They could be going towards commitment with someone else. Because the higher font is here with the six of swords. And we have it with the nine of pentacles. They could be single from this relationship. This could be them also coming towards you as well. But for some of you guys, it looks like they're going towards someone else. Um, they're coming together with someone else. One that they have a child with. Yep, see the higher font. See, look. For some of you guys are in two different relationships, two commitments. They're committed to you and committed to someone else. For others of you, this person that you're dealing with, where they come from, um, they can have more than like one wife. Okay? So it's like they're married to you, married to someone else, or they're married to someone, but you guys are in a relationship. How does that work? All right, so let's see. Sagittarius, let's see how your person is feeling towards you. I forgot to pull a romance angel. Let's see. Sagittarius, this person, how do they feel about Sagittarius at this time? How did your person feel towards you? Let's see. So we have passion. A lot of your heart and soul to seem with joy. So there is a lot of passion, chemistry, like I was saying. And I feel like this person makes your heart sing. I feel like they, you know, just make you feel excited, happy. That's that warm feeling. I can't let go. I want to be with them. A lot of excitement. But you're not happy, Sagittarius. All right, at the bottom, we have, I mean, we have romantic feelings here. So it says, your feelings are really worth exploring. So I feel like your feelings are real. They are worth exploring. But I feel like it's like even though your feelings are real towards this person, I just feel like what you're putting into it as far as your feelings, the passion, the chemistry, it's like, okay, so what I'm getting Sagittarius, the passion and chemistry is there, yes. There are feelings. There are romantic feelings there. But there's also like another relationship or a commitment or there's something there that's blocking you guys. Going to romantic feelings. You want this Ace of Pentacles. And then let's see. We have it with the Six of Cups in reverse. Their past is still in the picture. Okay? So until their past is out of the picture, there could not be no commitment. Right now. All right? Six of Cups in reverse. See the Ten of Wands. That is what's stressing them out. That's what could be stressing you out. 
that's what's in the way of this relationship. So until they are done with their past, there could not be a committed offer. There could not be any type of commitment. Their past is still in the picture. That is blocking the offer that you want from this person. All right? So let's see. Let's see why the comment is coming up in reverse. This is where the relationship is blocked at. Five of Wands. They may be dealing with other people, multiple people. Okay, and with the Ten of Pentacles, you're trying to build an empire. You're trying to have a marriage, a commitment. They can be committed to someone else. And that it could be the setback. That can be the karmic energy between you guys. Okay? So don't put yourself in a karmic situation, Sagittarius. You guys know what I mean by that. This person is telling you that they see and want a future with you, yes. But if they're already in a committed relationship or with someone and you're wanting to be with them, okay, it could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right, they may want to be with you, but you're creating karma by being in this karmic cycle or situation with them. They need to end that situation first before you guys can think about moving forward with them. If not, you're just putting yourself in a karmic cycle with them, all right? So let's do other little fortunes coming up in reverse. Five of Pentacles, that's where it's leaving you. Doing the thought in the cold. Unrequited love. They're not giving in. You having a hard time moving on or letting go. Okay? Feeling stuck. Feeling like you can't move on. Okay? And they're still be moving on, moving on with someone. Alright? So let's see. We have the star here. It could be an Aquarius. This is the advice. So like I was saying, um, Sagittarius, I feel like it's time for you guys to heal. Alright? Heal from this situation. Heal from this person. Heal from this relationship. Um, let's see, Eliza Star here. The Fool in Reverse. Okay? Look, you keep taking a risk. You keep giving in. So at some point, you got to break this cycle. Sad, you got to. Five of Swords, you keep falling for the okie doke. You keep falling for the mind games, the mind fuckery, the manipulation. Three of Swords in Reverse. This is telling me that you're forgiving them. Even after they dogged you, said certain things, talk smart to you, talk shit to you, talk behind your back, gossip, talk, say whatever. It's the five of swords. They manipulated you, controlled you, mind fucked you, all of that, and you forgiven them. But now it's time for you to forgive yourself and heal. Okay? It's time for you guys to forgive yourselves and heal, Sag. Let's see why the nine of swords is here. This is a potential outcome. Why is the nine of swords here for Sagittarius? Five of Cups in reverse. It's time to move on. It's time to go towards happiness. Some of you guys, it's time to go towards new love with the Three of Cups here. And we have it with the Shame card. It's time for you to find your inner strength and confidence to move on and move forward. Okay? So that's what it's time for you guys to do. It could be a Leo. Look, the sun is here. You guys can have a Leo in your life or around you guys. That's going to bring a lot of happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment. Or it's all about stepping into your inner strength and confidence and healing. The sun is about clarity, illumination. Okay, with the Nine of Swords, this is you getting out of your head and just finding inner strength and confidence to move on and move forward and to heal. So that will be the potential outcome that I see for the relationship or, you know, between the situation with you and your person for right now. Okay, so again, what's in the way of you guys coming together is their past and their karmic cycle. Alright, let's see. Sagittarius. Let's see, what is the overall energy for Sagittarius? I'm not a choice or option, period. And that's what I feel like is going on. Some of you guys, they got you in a third-party situation, and you're like, I'm not a choice or option, okay? And that's what you need to keep telling yourself. Because for some of you guys, they really got you thinking that there's a relationship here. But how if they're already in a situation? It says the distance between us is killing me. So for some of you guys, there's no communication or there's just distance. But then you got to think and ask, tell yourself, I'm not a choice or option. Okay, um, is what I'm getting. So let's see. Let's pull your spirit messages. I am going to pull from the fairies, oracle, and the god, goddess, and what is it? The angels, gods, and goddess, oracle. Alrighty. Um, I will be extending your reading, Sagittarius. On the other side, we'll go a little bit more into the situation. Um, we're going to take definitely a deeper look into like their feelings, blockages, and stuff like that. So let's see. Spirit message for Sagittarius. All right, so we have inner child that flew out. And it says, the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So some of you guys need to go for a swing. 
Get on the swing. You know, go to the park, go to the playground, color, draw, play a board game. I know a lot of you guys in the collective have children. Do something with your children. Paint. Do something that's fun. That's going to put you in a playful energy. Some of you guys are needing to definitely heal your inner child. But your inner child wants to be free. Your inner child is tired of being stressed and worried. All right? Um, that's what I'm getting. We have the nine of swords here twice. So you guys definitely need to free your inner child. All right? Um, let's do one more spirit message. Uh-oh. For Sagittarius, let's see. We have Goddess of Compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. So for some of you guys, you're your biggest or worst critic. And you guys need to stop judging and criticizing yourself. You are human. You are here to learn. Okay? You are going through a soul's experience. Do not be a worst critic. Do not beat yourself up. All right? Stop judging yourself. Stop putting yourself down. Love yourself. You are beautiful. You are confident. You are amazing. You are dope. Whatever it is you need to say to yourself, you are all of that and more. And some. All right, Sagittarius? So, let's talk about the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look into their feelings, um, their current thoughts towards you, their current and future intentions. I'm going to look to see, do they want this relationship? Um, is this for your best and highest good? And then, what is going to happen next? All righty? I love you, Sagittarius. Thank you again for all the love and the support. I hope to see you all on the other side. The link will be pinned below in the comments. Um, yeah, and definitely see you guys. Lots of love and lights. All right, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, Sagittarius.